said, Who touched us? When all the night, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude wronged thee and oppressed thee, and sayest thou, Who touched us? And Jesus said, Somebody hath touched me, for I perceive that earth has gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling, and crawling down the floor, and she declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. While he yet spake, there cometh one from the ruler of the synagogue's house, and saying to him, Thy daughter is dead, probably not the master. But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. And when he came into the house, he suffered no man to go in, save Peter and James and John, and the father and the mother of the maiden. And all wept and were well heard. But he said, Weep not, she is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. And he put them all out, and took her by the hand, and called, saying, Maid, arise. And her spirit came again, and she arose straightway, and he commanded to give her meat. And her parents were astonished, but he charged them that they should tell no man what was done. Let us pray. Scorn, knowing that she was dead, he put them all out. 
about this woman with an issue of blood. Uh, the Bible says she made her way through the press. I mean, she was shoving folks out of the way to get to Jesus. I mean, she had to get to Jesus no matter what for her situation. But we don't always have that attitude. We don't always, we don't always have that attitude about salvation. But I'm telling you something. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. He's the, he's the only thing that will work in that situation. Amen. But what about everything else after you get saved? What are you trusting him for? I mean, have you made him the Lord of your life? Or is it just a Sunday and Wednesday routine? Is it just something you do when you get in trouble and you make a little phone call to heaven? Do you have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ? Has his power ever changed your life? See, when this woman got a hold of Jesus, there was a change in her life. His power changed her life. Amen. you never been saved, he's not going to change your life. The Bible says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. <coughs> And behold, all things have become new. You cannot come in contact with the Son of God and keep going the same way you always do. Do you know him tonight? Has he changed your life? Or do you still have some issues that need to be dealt with? She had an issue of blood. You may have an issue of the heart tonight. What issues do you need to deal with tonight? Would you be obedient to the Lord and give him to him? Just make your way no matter what. And he'll meet me here. If you want somebody to show you how to be saved, we'd be glad to.